The Grim Iron Relief Force is too late. The savior ship has sailed. The Drukari left no survivors to relish. The planet is the plaything of the Drukari Archon of the North. Pride versus greed. This is 40K in 40 minutes. Commissar Nick is made of the sternest of metals, and JT, the Archon of the North, is a truly successful raider and connoisseur of pain. Both armies sport big centerpiece models, and either one could be the linchpin of victory in this hard-hitting clash of play-on-tabletop royalty. Buckle up, Buttercup, cause here we go! They're not evil elves. They are just... Misguided. No, the misunderstood. The Drukari Sky Splinter Assault Force sports five characters: Archons, Succubi, and a Homunculus, including the Tantalus Catamaran of Doom. Riding inside are Cabalites with dark lances, and Incubi with claves, Racks with heck rifles and ossifactors, and Witches with cruel blades and phantasm grenade launchers. All nightmare-fueled real space raiders we know and love. Two Ravagers with Dark Lances provide heavy fire support along with the Scourges. Mandrakes are amazing scoring units that are not to be taken lightly. A Kronos and a pair of Talos are some hearty assault monsters. will force the close quarters fight that the Guard just do not have an answer for. This new Sky Splinter Detachment changes the way they play. It feels very fast, it feels very pressure filled, it feels very, very much like the Dark Eldar should. I'm here with my guard today, and I'm gonna take on those dastardly dark elves. The Astra Militarum combined regiment are bringing some heavy fire support to the table with a Bane Sword Super Heavy, Penelope, and her shiny new Quake Cannon, two Earth Shaker carriages, and a Hydra Flak Tank. Lord Solar Cosine is the general and will be able to order these massive guns to great effect. 50 infantry have a Commissar to corral them, and the Kassakin have a Castellan officer with them the officer bodyguards getting chimeras to ride around in. Two squads of Rough Rider Cavalry, a pair of Scout Sentinels, and a Hellhound are the dynamic elements of the combined arms approach showcased by Nick here today. I brought a Hydra. A Hydra is an anti-flying weapon. It's basically a flat cannon shooting all sorts of things into the air to shoot down flyers. Most of JT's army flies, so this could be very advantageous. I want to go after his scoring units. I want to pin his infantry in place. I want to tie him up so that he literally can't get away from me and then bring the big Drukari beat stick to smack those guardsmen back to that Namby Pamby Emperor dude. This battle is Dawn of War deployment. Primary mission, purge the foe with the supply lines mission rule. Purge the foe scores four for holding an objective, four more for holding more than the foe. On top, each player scores four at the end of the round for killing an enemy unit and four more for killing more units than the foe in that round. Supply lines will provide an extra command point on a four up to players that hold their home objective in their command phase. I always need to make sure I'm keeping two command points so I can bring back infantry because I'm gonna need every single one. This is gonna be an interesting KG back and forth type deployment, and I'm gonna to have to be mindful of where Nick puts stuff and see what I can pin early and see what I can just wholesale pick up. The Astra Militarum put nothing in reserve. The Castellan joins the Kasserkin, Commissar Nick in with the infantry, both in Chimeras. The Lord Solar is going solo and will need to hide to avoid getting shot at. Drukari deep strike the Scourges and the Mandrakes. Five Venoms are full of an assortment of Cabalites, Witches, and Incubi. Archons and Succubus join them. The Tantalus is full of racks, a Homunculus, and even more Incubi. A party boat! Doot, doot. I will find those Dark Elves, I will destroy them, and I will cleanse this planet in the name of the Emperor! <laughs> Chimera with the Kasserkin in the camp. Tantalus will have options from midfield. These are just regular guardsmen, cannon fodder, men and women of the Imperium. The first of the Venoms, full of Cabalites in behind a ruin. First squad of witches in a Venom. Earthshaker carriages by the supplies. Cabalites and Archon in a Venom. Could I put this here instead? Would that be okay? The units? Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Okay. Ooh, more Earthshaker action. My Bane Sword is gonna go right here, and he's got one way to go, and it's just like, into here a little bit. <laughs> Watch out, folks, there's a Quake Cannon on the field. The Hydra AA Gun. This is a flyer killer extraordinaire. 
Witches in a Venom. It is a very cool model. One of our one of our patrons painted this for us. Uh, so cool. Light cosine, thank you so much. I'm excited to use them. It's so cool. I'm sorry I'm gonna have to kill you. Oh, you will try. Horses, Rough Riders in the salt position. The final Ravager swoops in next to its sister. Engine see your tack to support the Bane Sword. Infantry hold up both flanks and the center. Nick brought bodies, bodies, and more bodies. How many points is a Bane Sword? Almost 500. Good lord, man. And you still have all of that? <laughs> <laughs> this is a. This is a fun list. Now, do you want to go first or do you want to go second? I don't want you to redeploy and shoot my Tantalus on the first turn. I, I have never won against JT. I want one win. One win. <laughs> you ready? Let's go. First turn. Three. Oh, barely. The guard are going first and will destroy you. Take this dice and just throw it away. I'm okay with this because I, I've identified an opportunity here for a high risk, high reward gameplay moment. Big move, here goes. Going first is a big deal here. With Nick's redeploy, he can redeploy his big tank Penelope and get shots in on the Tantalus. Nick, good luck, sir. Good luck. Ah! You're gonna need it. Art W, oh my yes, Art W. Feast your eyes, folks. You too can grace your battlefields with breathtaking works of art produced at Art W. I paint a lot, and the magic brushwork that is standard for Art W puts my best work to shame. Take advantage of the wealth of experience and talent offered by the Art W painting team and look into a paint commission today. Your hobby dreams realized by masters of the craft. My first card is... Behind enemy lines! <laughs> Terrible! The first My second one is, is a command point for turn capture two. enemy outpost! Yeah, it actually is <laughs> capture enemy outpost! <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Nick's gonna have extra command points oh, on the end of this turn! Man. Capture gets tossed for attempting target with the New Order stratagem. Nick is going for the tempting target near his uh, camp. Of course you do! Nick gets an extra command point for his Lord Solar. Lord Solar cosine gives take aim orders on both Earth Shakers and move, move, move on the Sentinel. Commissar improves the horsey weapon skill with fixed bayonets. Move, move, move on the Rough Riders and the near infantry in the camp. The Engine Seer blesses Penelope with a four up invulnerable save. Oh yeah. So, and then we move into our movement phase and we're gonna start with these Rough Riders. This Bane Sword. Boom! There's such, I'm six playing with G.I. Joe energy when, Isn't I, it? when I play you, and I love it so much. This, this is a huge gamble. It's a huge I've gamble. only got one shot at doing this. You're never gonna give me the shot again. Mom spaghetti. And if I fail, this guy's probably dead next turn. And if I kill it, I collapse that side of the board. 100%. So the Sentinel's gonna start off by trying to damage the boat. The Tantalus, oh, the Tantalus. big giant Tantalus. Jeez. Well, I don't wanna lose my Tantalus. It's got a lot of stuff inside there. There's Incubi in there, there's Rax and there's Homunculus in there. There's 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 good, nas good nasty stuff in there. I need a little bit of luck here to live through this because that Quake Cannon scares pants right off me. Literally, I'm not wearing pants. JT pops his Night Shield Stratagem for one command point. He will get a four up invulnerable save on this model for the rest of the phase. Fours, fives to wound, no wounds. Hunter killer missile. It's a miss. Should have called a missile. Next, we will go with the artillery. All right. Earth Shaker cannons. First gun. On, uh, hitting on fours. Fives. No wounds so far. Second artillery. Nothing. Well, didn't work. That's okay. I've still got plenty of blast cannons. I've still got uh, giant guns I can use. I have enough guns that I could potentially down it this turn. Taking that out would be huge. Are you ready for this? Yes. All right. I'm not, but okay. What, what do you want me to do? Grab my ankles? Like, I'm not sure what I'm supposed Four to do Four last cannons. Yeah, grab your ankles. Four last <laughs> cannons. Uh, hitting on fours. And I make all three. I'm gonna keep these dice. Oh, that was, that was good. Come oh, on, baby. Oh, man. Twin enemy bolters. Three shots. <laughs> Rolling to wound. Doesn't wound. Nothing's taking any damage. The quake cannon has to do it. All right, so now the big giant gun. 
It has D6 plus six shots. <laughs> Hitting on fours with nine shots. D6 plus six shots is nuts. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh my lanta. <laughs> I'm okay with three. All of them. As long as he fails a good number, I've got a real chance here. <sighs> six, right? Yeah, six wounds of save. Oh, you saved all of them! All of them! Oh, what? Tentalus! Well, that Quake Cannon did not do anything like it should have. And here's the funny part. I made a ton of five-up invulns, which is what the Tantalus has anyway. JT! Do worse! I feel calm now, I feel relaxed. I might go to the beach, take a little time off. You know, this is good. This is, it's good. I'm feeling it, yeah, it's all right. Nick tosses behind enemy lines, but no command points. He is already topped up this round. Five points for attempting target puts Nick on the board. That's okay. See if he can get me back. There's a lot of opportunity here for me to, to really put the hammer down on Nick. Behind enemy lines and overwhelming force are the secondary draws for the Drukhari. Supply lines fail to gain a command point. It will be two command points to one. Venom scoots up and pour out Incubi and an Archon. Spending the stratagem on Pounce on the Prey. For one command point, even though I moved 16 inches <laughs> and got out three, they can charge. <laughs> More Venom Riders. Zoom up and flood the flank with Cabalites and Witches. The Tantalus floats out of sight of the big tank. Penelope may have lost her chance. Bring on, JT. Shooting face. Empowering the Talos and the Tantalus with pain, JT is set for a big shooting phase here. I have one pain token left, which I am going to risk it for the biscuit and give it to my Archon squad. My twin liquefier gun is going to target the Rough Riders, and then the Haywire Blast is targeting the Rough Riders. D6 shots with a flame. Strength four, toughness. I do not save it. Take a wound. You've taken one wound off of the horse. And now I have four shots on Haywire Blasters. Uh, Anti-vehicle four twin link. Twin link. Two go through. That means six damage. Wow. Yeah, six devastating wounds. That's really good. I can't do a thing about that. Nope. So I'm down to uh, 18 wounds remaining. Capolites, split fire. Tank weapons into the tank, infantry weapons into the infantry. There you go. They don't scratch the tank, but they do a number on the infantry, and that number is three. Archon in the infantry squad does have a blast pistol on a two. AP three, three, I believe. AP three goes right D three uh, damage. No, does it ignore cover? Ignores cover. Then yes. <laughs> <laughs> this phantom here does have shots into the Rough Riders. Two damage. You killed two more horses. Larry, no. Blah! Buttercup, no. Blah! All right. So I think that's everything I have on that side of the table. Over to my other side. Over this side of the table now. So my rabbit is going to target your set. Okay. Seven. On a six. Nope. Five damage. Five damage. I have two wounds remaining with the Sentinel. Second round into the Chimera. Oh, just one reroll. Nothing hits. Ooh. Two twos and a one. Beautiful. Just for giggles. I'm going to throw my six splitter cannon shots at your Chimera. Three sustained. Nope. Go through. Two damage. Two damage. Woohoo! I have nine wounds remaining. Tantalus is putting a full broadside into the Chimera. All guns. Fire! Four! It was two to save? Yes, I believe. Save so. both. Flamers, so sixes. Save it. And then two awesome factors on threes, but eight sixes. Nothing. Chimera lives. Now the Tantalus guns. Oh, that wasn't the Tantalus guns. That was a two oh, to no. <laughs> All right. These are on threes. All right. Bring it up. Oh, oh no. That's atrocious. That is a lot of twos. My word. Oh, my I goodness. Just, so on fours. That was brutal. I save one of them, three go through. So six damage total. Six damage total, five wounds remaining with the Chimera. All right. Charge veins, who do you want to charge with? The Incubi are immune to Overwatch, and they make the charge into the last horses. So what you're trying to kill here is you're trying to kill Buttercup number two and Harris, because that's the Harris. It's the Harris that's horsey. That's the Harris horsey, yeah. That's, Harris horsey. that's, that's, that's I'm, I gotta be honest. Owen gave us that one. That is, well that is, sir. <laughs> that's, that's impressive, man. That was brilliant. That was impressive. A Venom follows them in nice 10-incher. 
Witches, charge the infantry with a big 11. There is no target better for these melee blenders. A cleanup on aisle one. Ravager makes the charge out of the ruin, but the Tantalus fails. Another Venom succeeds, and Nick's forward units are tagged. Let's see if JT can bag them. Let us have a bit of fun first. So at the start of the fight phase, I gotta take a Battleshock test for your Incubi being in range of them. And, oh, I failed! They're Battleshocked. No reinforcement for them now. It's going from bad to worse. I'm gonna start with the Arc Harness Squad. I need three. Can you kill Harris? They're dead! <laughs> no, not! Harris the horsey. Harris. Rosinante. The horsey. Uh, so I'm going to do the witches next. I got one. So the unit's dead. The unit's gone. They were close. Bye bye oh, units. As they die, I'm going to spend two command points on the reinforcement stratagem, and they will come back in my next reinforcement step. Right. So I'm tagging your vehicle because I can't get back into my transport. I will kill them with flamers. You probably will. Venom is attacking the Sentinel, hitting you on threes, wounding you on fives. Wounding you on five. All but one. One goes through. Take one damage. Just one. I'm down to one wound. Oh, come on, Ravager, you can do it. One wound. Can the Ravager kill the one wound from the Sentinel? Here we go. On force. <laughs> Bugger me. The Sentinel lives. The Sentinel lives, so you get the to Sentinel fight back. The Sentinel lives. You get to fight back. Inzaw into your little boat. Yep. Strength six. That's a wound at minus one. Take a wound. One damage. Zoom. Down to five. That's it. Tank. Oh, right. You have like six I attacks. do get to attack you back. Wound you on two. Farm one damage. I lose a witch. Squish. Uh, so end of fight phase. The Incubi and Cabalites are close enough to their transports to remount. That ability to jump in and out of the vehicles is gonna prove really challenging. I can't overwatch, I can't do anything, so that's, I gotta be careful. JT ends the first round with 13 points to Nick's five. He discards behind enemy lines to gain a command point and floats into round two with a healthy lead, great board position, and a pocket command point. It's a good day to be an elf. This is gonna be a challenging turn two. I've gotta be really careful, and I've gotta do a lot of damage, and I've gotta make sure I score all of my secondary. Investigate signals and no prisoners are okay draws. With focus, Nick should be able to get right back into the running here. Here come the orders. All righty. The engine seer patches up Penelope and blesses her vaunted hull. Hydra and the Earthshaker and the infantry get take aim. Only four primary for the guard. Put the score nine to 13. Drukari are still in the lead. On to the movement phase. Okay. I am spending a command point on Vicious Mockery. JT spends one command point on Vicious Mockery and flees with the Near Venom. This Engine Seer is going to investigate signals mm. over here because he can't really do anything else. Engine Seer and an Earth Shaker will investigate signals in Nick's near corners. The Lord Solar bravely rides in a tiny circle behind cover at the back of his deployment zone. Kasser can jump onto the objective, action hero style. When the Cadian Castellan gets out, he's gonna give that unit take aim. Fortunately, I wasn't able to give them another order because they were inside a vehicle. Ready for the shooting phase? No. <laughs> that's, what, that's, that's what you like to hear from an opponent when you're about to go into the shooting phase. The Sentinels pick some targets, and now the Hydra goes to work. Hunter killer missile. Okay. And I wounded minus three. Nope. Ooh, D6 damage. Give me six. Give me six. It's a one. Okay. Debating it. Yep, I'm gonna spend one command point. Oh, spending a command point to reroll the damage. Yeah. You know what happens when you reroll a one? Mm -hmm. More times than not, it's a one. Ah! Why? Hey, you're done. The artillery speaks and tells a tale of doom. D6 shots. Venom destroyed. Kill confirmed. One incubi dies, and they are battle shocked. Then next, we're gonna go with the chimera. The commander is gonna fire everything into those guys that just got out. This is not the hellhound, this is a commander. Uh, Nick one, fail one. Roasts one, and then three die to the turret. The Kassikers finish the incubi and manage to vaporize the Archon as well. Ooh, dangerous. Um, the Sentinel's gonna go next. The Sentinel's gonna fire into this Venom that has guys in it. Yeah. And then I'm gonna overcharge the plasma gun. <laughs> D3 shots. Uh, that's one shot, and it misses. 
Does it wound, or does it kill myself? Four wounds remaining on the Sentinel. Well done. Bane Sword, split fire. Split fire everything. Flames the witches in the front. Blast cannon into the venom, and quick cannon into the Talos. Four flamers, twin yeah. links. I'm minus seven to be wounded. Good thing I'm plus 20 to be wounded. Oh, to dang. Witches and succubus roasted. Four Laz cannons into the venom in the corner. On oh, fives. So three. D6 plus one damage. Oh, five damage. So close. Boop. Down to one. All right. And then um, lastly, the big giant quake gun in. Plus six. Fives. No save, but feel no pain keeps one alive. Now, do those have deadly demise by any chance? They do. Now you have to take that on a three up. Not. Not, oh, that is very disappointing. I'm very disappointed, JT. All right, let's go with some infantry over here. First infantry squad, firing everything into that Talos. Infantry take aim and look to finish the Talos. A wound squeaks through. All the Rough Riders will shoot their lads guns at you. Venom. Two go through. <gasps> I got him. I'm gonna command reroll. Yep. Oops, command rerolling. Got it. All right, no command points left. No command points left. Venom on a single wound. Uh, which means the Chimera needs to finish you off. Baby. Yes! Fuck. I got him with the last wound! He doesn't. Cabalites lose a model getting out, and now they face the fury of the Hellhound. The Hellhound is not gonna fire and now kill all those incubi. 2d6 shots Rack. on the hit. Cabalite. All right. Inferno Cannon lifts the squad. Easy peasy. All right, so going into the combat phase, I'm gonna charge. Rough Riders make the charge into the Ravager along Here. with the Chimera. Not good news Here. for the Ravager. With the tip? Sure, why not? All right, and my Sentinel's already in. All right, Rough Riders, mm -hmm. into your Ravager. Mm -hmm. Make one. Ooh, D6 damage with each one. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten damage. Down to one. Oh, I almost got it. Almost. Oh, yes, I still have the tank. The tank runs into you, uh, hits you none. Okay. And then the Sentinel tries to. No, he doesn't. Oh, the Sentinel does not try I to fight whack. your Sentinel. Oh, yes. Uh, one hit. Oh, there's a wound, baby. Oh, this might be what you need. Oh, what is it minus? Zero. Okay, it saves it. Um, all right, the Sentinel's got to do it. He has his chain sword. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hit one. That's all I need. T9. T9, strength six. How are you still alive with one wound? <laughs> he lives. This was a really good turn. Seven kills? JT's going to have a hard time catching up to those many kills. I think I might be able to score the extra four points for killing more than JT in this round. Nick scores both his secondaries for a nine point gain and the lead, 18 to 13. This is gonna be a real telltale turn for me if I can put some hurt on him. Deploy homers and defend stronghold, very doable for the speedy Drukari. Score is 17 to 18 for the guard now as JT scores four for primary objectives. Supply lines gain JT a command point. The guard are a bit extended here. Let's see what the Drukari can cut off. Cabalites jump out again. One command point for Pounce on the Prey. Mandrakes drop in the back as well as the Scourges. Looks like no deploy homers for JT. That's the end of my movement phase, sir. Okay. It is time for shooting phase. Power from Pain on the Dracon squad. Talos and the Scourges. Firing <laughs> into your Sentinel. Stupid Ravagers. I want him dead. I sure hope it explodes. Hellhound is going to get four Dark Lances with rerolls to hit from those the scourges. Guys. So threes. One save, one goes through. Easy plus two. Take four damage. Four damage. I'm down to seven wounds remaining with the Hellhound. And now my scourges move. Ooh, they move after. That's pretty they cool. They shoot and scoot. Yeah. All right. So Chronos is going to shoot and not advance. So everything is going to go into your tank. E6 blast. Fives, probably. Two fours. Save neither. Damn it. One damage each. All right. And then the flamer. Down to seven wounds on the Chimera. Hits it for three and wounds you once. AP? AP one. Save it. Mandrakes from downtown into your Kazurkin. Three ups. Oh, uh, two go through. Capolites go after the Kazurkin and the Chimera. Blaster pistols drop it to one, but fail to kill. Splinters are saved, but the Shredder kills a Kazurkin. Venom nails three more for remain. Ah, it's gonna me down to Sentinel. Kill the Sentinel! Uh, twin what's it shenanigan rifle. Please. Save it! And that rat fart lift. <laughs> it was fantastic. 
Talos has to throw his Haywire into your big tank. And I think I'm gonna flame the one wound Hellhound. On fours. Ooh, come on. Just Ooh. one. Oof. Devastating one, three damage. Take it down to 16 wounds. Tank is four, or, or Flamer is four. Twinling. Two, baby. Ah, there it is. Oh, that's a fail double failure. Does he explode? Does he? No. I'm really thankful. So here's the best part about this. I kill the unit, I get a paint token. The Talos is now empowered for the rest of the game. Or rest of the game? I reroll advances, I reroll charges, I reroll hits, I reroll fights. Great. Yes. Well done. Well, well done, two wound Talos. But he's only got two wounds. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so my Tantalus is going to open up now. Splitting fire to victory, as Nick would say. I'm throwing all of the Tantalus guns to your Chimera. I'm going to throw the flamers from the dudes that are inside through firing deck into the Sentinel. I'm going to throw the Ossifactors and the Hex Rifles into the Hellhound that's in the middle of the table. When you're forcing JT to slip fire, you know you're doing something right. Let's do it. Let's start with, what do you want to start with? Sentinel. Sentinel. Flaming the Sentinel. Come on, buddy. Oh, yeah. I got the one I needed AP1. All right, on a four. I got it, he's alive. Fudge, nuggets. <laughs> Sentinel lives. <laughs> okay. Uh, Sentinel and then needs a name. Into the Hellhound. Ten of those guns. Four, eight. One combat. Three. Six. The Chimera does not survive. The infantry inside take no damage other than battle shock. It's time to declare some charges. Indeed. I'm going to start with, because my Talos is so big, I think I can actually stretch and hit both your units. You can charge them both. I'm a you want to try to multi charge both the riders, yeah. the horses, and the Hellhound. Love it. So long as I get a three, I think I'm okay. Don't get double ones. There we go. Very close. Strange charge into the Hellhound. Scything charge strips four off the Hellhound. So three wounds left on the Hellhound. It's still kicking. Venom charges into the Kasserkin along with the Cabalites. Talos into the Sentinel. Fails, but he gets a free reroll and is in. It's fight time. No, it's not. Charge phase? Gotcha. It's the end of a phase. Oh, it is. I'm going to launch a Meltamine at the Talos. You can do that in the fight It phase? doesn't say. It just says at the end of any phase. So on a two up, I just have to ro not roll a one. I can do it. I can do it. Don't roll a one. <laughs> it's a two. <gasps> so D3 mortal wounds. I'm hoping for two. Kill the Talos. It's a one. One, one wound. Takes it. So you took a one wound. Man, that was close. I had a chance there. Very, very close. That was very, very exciting. I'm going to start with the Archon squad into what's left of your Kasserkin. Archon kills the Kasserkin with ease. As they die, I'm going to spend two command points on reinforcements. They're going to come right back. I'm genuinely concerned with the number of bodies that he can just keep throwing at me. Uh, Talos into the Sentinel. Seven, so three. I, not a one. Three, six. Ha, ah, he's dead. The Tantalus is empowered in the fight phase. Copy that. Five into the Rough Riders, uh, one into the Hellhound. Got it. So Rough Rider attacks on twos. Tantalus cuts up two cavalry and fails to drop the Hellhound. Now for a big new strat, Vicious Blades. So the transport that just fought, I now get to nominate one of the units that I fought, and I can potentially do mortal wounds to it. That's fun. The cool part is it's plus one of its racks. Five Incubi and the Homunculus on five. So there's two mortal wounds into your tank so far. Down to one. Five, six, seven, eight. This is a very powerful ability. Ten. Especially it's on something with a ton of- uh, With 16 it. dudes in it? Yeah. yeah. And I'm looking for fours. One, two, three. Yeah, it's dead. So I do five mortal wounds total. Hellhound is dead, does it explode? It does, the Hellhound explodes! And I believe it does Crap. D6. Oh poo. It does D6! Hellhound does D6 damage. Three. I'll take three. Does it, what, does it reach anybody else besides my Tantalus? Nope. <laughs> I can't see anyone else. I don't think it reaches here and no. I don't think it reaches there. No. Kaboom! So that's six dead. It's your fight phase now. You're going to pick up my Ravager, which means you're going to kill more this turn. That cavalry kicks down the Ravager. It dies. Uh, panicked horse, small boat. Yep, that tracks. That was massive. That was big. That was big. He managed eight kills that turn. Finally took out one of my Ravagers. I managed six kills. You talk about a bloody game. This is brutal. I don't think we're gonna make it to five with any units left. This means a big eight points for Nick and four for JT at the end of round two. JT discards his secondary, scoring neither, and no command points. He done already had his. -es. All right, turn three, big turn, key turn. This is where I drive home the wedge of destruction on the Drukhari and I take back this world for the Emperor. 
overwhelming force, and extend battle lines are quality secondaries. A good opportunity. Penelope gets shined up to 18 wounds. Orders splash about, and we are ready to go. Four primary points put the score 30 to 21 for the Astra Militarum. In the moving phase, uh, we're gonna fall back with the cavalry. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do is overwatch with the channelist of that squad. Because overwatch. A pony is disintegrated into a fine, horsey mist. He's definitely not Leonidas. What? I'm gonna lead from the back. Seriously, how does he think he's the good guy with mwahaha every turn? <laughs> <laughs> See? That's not a good guy laugh! <laughs> <laughs> Reserves in, Kasserkin pop out into camp, hoping for a good shot before they are overrun. The reserve infantry come on behind the Bane Sword. Beginning of shooting phase? Yes. I'm going to start off by spending one command point on mm -hmm. a grenade stratagem from uh, the horses. Uh, ooh, five mortal wounds! Good job, horses! Let's go with the Hydra next. It's gonna kill the Tantalus right now. <laughs> oh, great. So I have cover, four ups. Oh, I killed it! I got the Tantalus! Blow up. Oh, I want this to explode. Ooh. Ah! <laughs> Explosion! My Venom. Oh, oh no! no! The Venom goes down! I should not have rolled Does the same dice! Does the Venom explode? No. Oh, that would've been fun. So we'll deal with that in a minute. Your Sentinel. Six! <laughs> Sentinel's gone. Does the Sentinel explode? It does not. Your Rough Riders. Two. One of them's dead? Your squad. Two. Two more guys Where are dead. Where was the two on the Phantom? <laughs> 16 dudes inside. Oh! One. Just one. I'll take it on one of the racks. Here's the best part. Four up. I'm good. Yeah. Explosions! I liked that. That was fun, JT. <laughs> well, you Let's want, keep you... going. Okay, yeah, it was kind of fun. Yeah, it was kind of fun. Infantry take on the Talos, and auto cannon is too painful, even for the pain engine monster. Infantry right here, gonna fire into the Venom. Okay. They have take aim, so they're auto cannon. They stayed still. Four three ups. All right, take two wounds. Lastly, cast again. Overcharging. I got really, really close. One more. Earth Shaker. One? No. Next shaker. Still three shots. Okay. Two damage each. Yes! And the venom blows up! Yes! He explodes! <laughs> um, you take a mortal wound. I take a mortal wound. I'm down to 17. <laughs> 17 wounds. There's range. nobody else in range. I am gonna lose a Cavalite Warrior. All right, it's time for some split fire. Penelope is mad. Flamers go for the infantry. Quake cannon to the Ravager and the last cannon and bolter into the Kronos. Heavy flamers? Cabalites die, but Archon Jr. survives, but he loses his save. Quake Cannon, D6 plus six shots into yep. the Ravager in the back. You explode on a three up! Ravager is quaked into next week. The ensuing explosion ripples out, removing three Scorches as well. The losses are mounting. And then lastly, four last cannons into the Kronos. Bolters, into the Kronos in the center. AP, two, three. Uh, D6 damage plus one, six damage. I take one. Junior phase done. That was excellent. Fantastic. Charge phase. Penelope charges the Archon and crushes him with tank shock. The ponies fail and the racks just eat him up. Yum, yum, yum. The overrun puts the racks onto the objective. The killing has really set in with eight unit kills for the Imperial side. The Dukari do snag too and have their turn to catch up. Purge the foe points are really important and might just be the difference today. This is a challenge, this is tough, but I have enough forward pressure now. My witches can get across the board if they can tie up an infantry squad, if my incubi can hit his home objective, that's huge because that'll give me hold mores every turn and then two more turns of an extra eight points, that can win me the game. Investigate signals and bring it down, a decent draw. JT does gain a command point from supply lines and will have two to spend for the round. Four primary points is not enough to take a lead. It's 40 to 25 for Nick. That was a great turn. The guard are in a strong place. If I can keep up the pressure, don't let those Drukari get a single inch. I got this. All right, as you move those guys in, I'm gonna spend my last command point to overwatch those sure. scourges? Scourges, yeah. Scourges. Um, I've got a heavy flamer on the front. 
That's gonna see if I can do it right by himself. D6 shots, three shots from yep. the flamer. Oh, I rolled triple ones! Wow! Power of the dark side, baby! All right, <laughs> All right well, I'm gonna roll the auto cannons. Four okay. auto cannons. I rolled no sixes, but because you fly, I get to re-roll those. Give me one six. Give me one six. No sixes. Oh, Whew. man, those three ones killed me. Yeah, dude, I'm, uh, that was that was that was pucker pucker time right. for sure. I thought I could kill him. Moves up and then drops his mandrakes into the corner for some signal action. Kronos, Rax, and Scourges gain pain tokens. I'm going to start my shusting with my Kronos. I am going to blast and flame that poor, poor squad right there. Aww. Threes. Oh, got it. Yeah. Five. Ignoring cover. Nope, go through. And then the flamer ah, is just yeah. one. And it doesn't wound you. Ooh, only two guys lost. My scourges are going to target the flat cannon. It's on fours. Three. On sixes. No, nothing. Come on, boys. Nine, 11, 13. That is enough to kill it. Does it explode? Does it be good Don't explode, don't explode, don't explode. No. <gasps> bye bye, oh, flat wow. cannon. Scourges scoot back to hide. Rax split into the solar and the infantry. Threes with the sniper rifles. Save one of them, one goes through. How many wounds you got? Five wounds remaining. The Onsta's got eight wounds. Yeah. Flamers into the squad. Uh, save one, three damage. Okay, and the pistol Ooh. hits. Pistol hits and wounds. Ooh. I don't think it has AP. Okay. Right. I've got five guys that are left. So in the start of my charge phase, I'm going to give a pain token to my Kronos so that I can reroll my charges. Kronos charges. Incubi, need a command reroll but make it into the infantry on the home objective. Uh-oh. Rax, jump the other infantry, and a desperate fight for control of the Imperial home objective is on. The Hamakadonk, with his abilities, five attacks, anti-infantry to precision. The Hamaculus and Rax tear apart the Commissar and his squad, brutal and efficient. I will go Kronos next. Kronos thing, threes. I save one of them. You, you have killed three, three infantry. Uh, Incubi now. Can you kill the infantry? Incubi, chop up the infantry in the rear. Gosh, they hit good. They jump on the other infantry and still tag that home objective. The clapback does nothing. Solid scoring for the Drakari. Investigate signals and bring it down. Score four each. But I'm falling short of the kill mores just by single units, and that is letting Nick pile up the primary points. While this looks rosy for the humans, the home objective is overrun, and the reinforcements cannot keep up with the losses. The Dark Elves may have the Imperials right where they want them. Cleanse and deploy homers are the secondaries, very doable. Orders are aim on the Basilisks, and Kasserkin get to move, move, move. Four on primary, Nick is marching up that scoreboard, 52 to 37. All right, so, my Bane's Ord is going to move up. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to fall back the unit that's in with your Incubi. Sure. Yeah, I'm going to overwatch you. With the Chronos? With the Chronos. Yeah. All right. It does. E6 Blast. Nothing. One AP1 ignoring cover. Don't save it! You've killed one! I kill a dude. Beautiful! Blah! Okay, one command point for the grenade stratagem on the Cassigan onto the Incubi. Yeah. And you take three mortal wounds. All right, so I lose two models. The Cassigan, are they gonna fire everything at the Incubi? Sure. Because there should be what? Three? All sure. So you guys still got one left? I got one left. Nice. Do you want me to roll it? For what? This is the only target I have. I have an invulnerable save. I have feel no pains. I mean, the bolt, you, you roll the quake cannon and see if no. it works. No, because you have deadly demise, don't you? I do, yeah. So I'm gonna roll the last guns first. Well, <laughs> Penelope kills the Kronos with flamers. It dies screaming. Then lastly, we've got the Basilisk. First, the one I have to shoot indirect because this building's in the way. Okay. So D6 plus three shots. One's lethal. Two six ups. Nope. Earthshakers, pound the racks and kill four. 
and slow them down. Right? All right, I'm gonna let you live. I'm gonna let you, I want Incubi live. And that is my turn. Cleanse and homers for three each. Nick did not use his solar and may just lose him. Sloppy play can squander a big lead. Area denial. No prisoners should score well here. Two command points each. I think that's worth it. You gonna overwatch? One. I'm gonna overwatch. Nick's one. gonna overwatch my scourges. One command point for overwatch from the caster kit. Nothing. Nothing. Overwatch on the scourges fails. Mandrakes into the corner. I'm going to go to my shooting phase. Okay. All right, you ready? I'm ready. Starting over here with the Venom. Get close, JT. Venom shooting at the engine seer. Oh, down he goes. Leontis. Rax, nail the solar for another three, but he's still riding. The only character left. Scourges, lance him twice. His invulnerable holds, but only with a command reroll. So Scourges charge the Earth Shakers with a three. Oh look, Earth Shakers in. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. Uh, Reroll re rollable charge for the witches into that squad. I got the reroll. I mean, hey, what are the odds of rolling snake eyes twice in a row? You go to jail. It's an eight. Come on. No, that was double ones and the double ones. Apparently, it's a very good chance of rolling snake eyes twice in a row. That was heartbreaking. The incubi go for the wounded infantry. Success. I'm gonna I'm gonna use my last paint token on him. Yep, to reroll all those hits and give him extra AP. I'll start with him. Incubi uh, into the infantry. All three, AP three, two damage each. Alright, so you've killed all the guys. They're all dead. They're all dead. I get a paint token back. Scourges. Scourges into Earthshaker. Earthshaker is okay, but fails to do any damage. Alright, the Earthshaker is about to bonk you with uh, five attacks from all the infantry that run up and hit you. And they hit you know. As long as the Incubus doesn't die, then I'm gonna have kill more and we're still okay here. Lone Incubi. They will pile in to get all the attacks in. Blah! Five hits, two wounds. Two wounds, two, three up saves. Fail one, command point reroll. Who dies? So the thing about rerolling saves is you have to roll better than when you roll the first time. I just did it again. Four for no prisoners, five for area denial, and four for killing, but the tally is tied, so only four to Nick, four kill. Score 62 to 54 for Nick, but JT still has what he needs to keep scoring. That's only eight points difference into turn five. It's anyone's game because JT scores last after he moves. Engage in all fronts and assassination are some solid secondaries. Plus four primary for a 66 to 54 to top the turn. Lord Solar is going to do amazing things. He's going to charge and take that right-hand objective. So shooting Leontis with sniper rifles first. No. Osa Factor hits you. Woo! Wounds you, but that's devastating, baby, for two. No way! It finally comes through. Let me oh. double check. No, he's not, because he's going to get Overwatch and die. Oh! Um, the tank is gonna multi-fire. Penelope splits fire. Quick cannon into the scourges. Kaboom! The flamers go off and torch the witches. They die along with their succubus in a pool of fire. Assassination by flamethrower. Yeah. Engage in all fronts, scores three. Assassination, five for eight more points. Let's see if JT can overcome a 20 point lead into the final moments. I have seen him make up Way bigger deficits. It's gonna come down to the wire. Capture enemy outpost and storm hostile objectives. Oh boy, these are bangers for JT's final draw, but he has so few tools left. This is big, we can do this. Only one command point. The supplies fail him at the finish line. He is going to have to do it on grit and determination. Well, with a dash of murderous intent. Shooting phase, four shots into the infantry squad. Just infantry squad with the mandrakes, yep. Three is rolling. Yep, kills one guy. Venom. Any AP on that? Uh, one save, you killed four. Kills four. 
So here's where it gets fun. Yep. I have a single paint soaker. Yep. I have a command point. Yep. How far is my charge from my, my racks into the Kazra point? You need a nine. I'm going to give the Mandrakes reroll charges. Okay. Yep, you're nine inches away for those and guys. And I'm going to start with them into the Kazra camp. Uh, no, man, uh, Rax and Homunculus into the Kazra camp. Hard roll mine. It's down to the little things at this point. He has to kill the Kazrakin to have a shot. Mandrakes, Kazrakin. Mandrakes, Kazrakin. 12. Mandrakes come in, look at that. Well done, man. I'm going to charge them with my Venom. Okay. With a seven. Okay. What's he like in here, attacking them? Spending my command points. Walking into them. And I'm gonna tank shock you. Here we go, boys. I need a big, big tank shock to clear this unit off of his last objective to get hold more at the end of the game and a couple of kills in combat and then Nick won't have enough to hold it. My Venom will hold. Okay, there's seven left. Seven left. Just one. <laughs> Not enough. I will hold that objective, yeah. sir. Oh, this is rough. Nick is absolutely creaming me and there's nothing I can do about it. But it's over there that it matters now, right? Comes down to this. If you can take these, these guys off the home objective, you might have enough to score enough points. Yeah, how many OC do you have on the objective right now? They're OC1 on the map. Yeah, you already yeah. have the objective. What you want to do is kill them because I have two kills and you have one. Three. Save two of them. Okay. One goes through, kills this guy over here. Okay. And then I'm going to pile all the racks in. Before you do that, I'm going to spend two command points. Are you going to interrupt me? I'm going to interrupt you. I'm getting interrupted because if I can kill enough racks, then they can't kill me. They don't get the extra points on kill more, and that might hold me in the game. Power sword from the sergeant. He hits you twice. Okay. Toughness uh, is... Wounds you twice. Nope. Kills two. Kills two of the racks. He's killed two of my racks. That's four attacks. That's probably going to mean the cats are going to live. 13 on secondary, eight on primary is 21 victory points. What a huge round for JT. But for four little points awarded for Purge the Foe to the Imperials and Commissar Nick, by the hair of his chinny chin chin, Nick has his first victory over JT on the channel and has closed out a nail-bitten win for the Astra Militarum. Fantastic game by both players. Thank you, JT and Nick. Thanks to Art W, our helpful sponsor, and most of all, thank you, esteemed viewer. We can't do this without you. Like, subscribe, comment, and join our membership to bask in our super supportive Play on Tabletop Discord community. Get early access to our content and amazing exclusive content. You want it, we got it, and of course, until we see you next time, play on. So close, so close. It's like, it's like right at the edge. It's like right there, man. It's like right in the precipice. The guard of hell. Great game, Nick. I won't go cry. <laughs> can't wait till our next bout. I can't wait till the gloves come off. Maybe a, uh, maybe another slobber knocker, barn burner, bottle cup. I don't know what I'm doing with this. <laughs>